Well, it's been a two week absence of vlogging, but a one week absence from towers since the first week of the absence was an attraction source event. Most of you already, already know what that is. I was there, but I wasn't vlogging. I was enjoying and taking it in. We got one hour VIP rides on Nemesis when the theme park shut. That's a highlight. And we also did loads of rides. Pretty quiet throughout the day, which is surprising. And uh, after last week, which I didn't come to towers at all, we're back at Orton Towers and we, uh, we're gonna try different rides this time. We've just come off Nemesis, great ride, and we're now heading towards, let's say the Smiler, that's one of my favorite rides. And then do Wicker Man, Oblivion, Rita, whatever we can do across the day. And we'll do some uh, roller coaster restaurant because that's the only place I like to eat. The only place you can get a satisfactory meal. Let's get into the day, shall we? Whoop! Very gorgeous. And how beautiful Nemesis is. Oh! Are we the premonition, Gary? Larry! Of Hold course, on. him at the right time. He's got a premonition today. Oh, wait, I'm having a premonition. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to send his out right now. She's talking in Morse code. Oh. This one, this one, this one, this one here. <laughs> catch it, catch it. There we go. Yes, Nemesis, talk to me. What have you got to say, girl? Okay, Morse code. Okay. Is it a dart or a lion? Eek. She said, she said eek so far. Eek. 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 Eeky tooth. Eeky tooth. Eeky tooth. Eeky tooth, maybe? His tooth is aching. Seek the truth. Seek the truth. That's what she's saying. She's saying seek the truth. And she might have an eeky tooth as well. That's what I thought. Yes, well, that's probably the phalanx, isn't it? Yes, it must be the phalanx. Yes, they're like vermin. They're everywhere around here. They're rodents. They're crawling around. Especially that facility over there. Smelly copter. Yeah, that facility. These eggs. I don't even think they're doing a cracking job there, have they? Cracking job. I didn't, Larry. Come on, we're serious around here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good, good joke, Gary. You know. I'll tell you what, shall we have a chance? Shall we, shall we have a chance, Gary? Yes, we've got a chance. Okay, right, here we go. We'll do one about Percy, right? Yeah, Percy. Okay. Percy in the pies? Percy in the pies, there we go! Yeah! yeah. Percy in the pie. here we go, they put Percy in the pies, far looks tell lies. They put Percy in the pies, far looks tell lies. They put Percy in the pies, far looks tell lies. They put Percy in the pies, far looks tell lies. They put Percy in the pies, far looks tell lies. They put Percy in the pies, far looks tell lies. Woo! Yes! Wonderful! Awesome! See the truth! No problem. Yeah. That was absolutely phenomenal, wasn't it? Very phenomenal. You wretched little creature. Hey, Larry. Larry, what's going on? Larry, Nice little lap on the Alton Manor. All the effects are working, which is quite rare for this ride. Most of the effects are broken. We did have two stoppages though, which is quite odd. Don't know what it was, but the ride broke down twice. And uh, now we're just gonna get some black vanilla ice cream. I'll show you what it looks like. It's quite special here. Uh, we got like loads of external food companies and ice cream companies around the park that do this special stuff. So black vanilla ice cream, and then we're gonna head to the X sector and do some Smiler. Stay tuned. So here we go, it's basically just vanilla ice cream but it's coloured in black because the Alton Manor is a horror ride, it fits the theming perfectly, I love it. And uh, there's certain things in certain areas, there's like donuts themed to different rides and that around the park but this is the best thing you can get, themed ice cream. They're, I've tried the donuts, they're very basic but the ice cream you can get different flavours, different colours, you can even get like sweets on them and different kinds of toppers, it's, it's really good so if you ever come to Alton's house and you want to have like a special treat black vanilla ice cream that's my go-to right so we're heading towards the smiler and it's an absolutely lovely day and as you can tell it's the worst of my fears this happened in the vlog once before i got black vanilla lips i don't know when i'm going to clean this off because i'm literally going on a ride in the moment so i'm just going to have to deal with this for a bit black lips right so here we are we just got to the smiler and we've just met ben and holly again hello let's get some ride footage well wow if we have enough time because this is such the shortest queue line ever. <laughs> A 
jolty ride on the Smiler. I got row one, the outward seat. I think this ride's got really rough over the years. It's extremely jolty on the final bit just down there, but it's still a good ride nonetheless. It's been one of my favourite rides since 2013, but it doesn't beat Nemesis. Nemesis will always be the top roller coaster here, especially with the theming. Anyway, we're going to head to another ride. We don't know what it is, we're just going to plan it as we go along. Right, so we're with Ben and Holly's doing a spin the wheel ride thing, and we've just got Spin More Wizard. So it is literally going to be a random day today. Hello, Holly. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> but yeah, spin the wheel, see what ride we get. We've just got Spin More. We could land in Simbibi's land, we could land anywhere. Let's see how it goes. Oh, looks insane. Here we are, just going on Spinball. I've not actually vlogged Spinball for a while. I did the Christmas event, but obviously I was just too dazzled by this ride, but I kept on going on and on and on, but it's pretty cute life. But anyway, here we are. Oh, jeez, scream it. Scream if you want to go faster. That's it, there we go. So the black lit situation seems to be going down a little bit. I don't know how long it's going to take though because I'm not washing it off. I've got too much rides to go on. I've got too much stuff to do across the day. So we'll just see if it goes. I'll try to get rid of it, but probably not. It'll last all day. ride at spin ball and we had an absolute spin it was spinning all the way around and it was hurtling at speeds of at least what like 40 miles an hour so absolutely insane and now we're going to see what our next ride is on the spin the wheel no idea it's a mystery i'm guessing it could be nemesis but it could be anything Vlogception! <laughs> Vlogception. So yeah, lovely ride on Spinball Wizard. That was the spinniest Spinball Wizard ride yeah, ever. Yeah. Very, very spinny. So yeah, what are we going to go on next, Holly? Let's spin the wheel and find out. I'm excited. Let's find out. Da, da, da. Uh oh. Oh! Oh, it's the dungeon! <laughs> oh my god! The dungeon! I got to pay for the dungeon! Let's go! We're paying for the dungeon! <laughs> Holly's going to explain to you the Alton Towers dungeon. So we enter it, get judged, and what happens in the judge is, <laughs> well, some people have a sign on them, yeah. and some people dance, and that <laughs> it goes dark, and then sometimes it's somewhere else. Yeah. And then... Hopefully that's working, to be honest, because... Yeah, I just hope that ride's actually working because last time I didn't get to go on that. And then the traitor, it's not very good, but he just talks to you. Yeah, just a talking head. <laughs> and then the torture room, I think this one's the one where you have to sit on that chair. Yeah, if you don't like getting interacted with, well, bad luck. The torturer likes to interact. <laughs> yeah. And then. Ah, uh, yes, Dick Turpin. Man, man. Dick and Turpin. Then it's like in a pub. The Plague Doctor loves pulling out the bits. And then it's just like a doctor. Piece. That's my favourite, the haunting of Holly May. Uh, no, Molly Lee. Holly May? What? Molly Lee? Molly Lee. <laughs> yeah, Molly Lee. But yeah, for anyone who doesn't know, this is a ride full of actors. It's like an interactive dark ride that you walk through. And in the one part, you get the boat. That's the only bit that's really a ride. It takes you around, you get loads of bits and bobs of screens and torches. And we were very lucky that we got it as well. Yeah. So we're going to have to dish out some cash for this but it's only like 10 pounds so it's worth it so yeah we're gonna head to the Alton Towers dungeon and hopefully we can get a nearby slot well we might get tortured we don't know oh remember it's quite a low down it is it is quite a low down <laughs> yeah there's two heads you can't get ahead of yourself <laughs> well yeah we're going on the Orton Towers dungeon shortly it's gonna be good haven't been on in a while it could be it could have a lot of actors because obviously it's not scare fest there's more for actors to do so hopefully we get a lot of interactions and there was only one in Subterra yeah only one in Subterra which was my my best guy Wallace I'm not gonna say his full name because it's confidential he's an actor here but Wallace he's great Wallace. if you uh, if you ever want to get a good actor on Subterra Monkey. then Wallace is the guy but he's not always on it because he's an actor that roams a lot and he's yeah. going to be, I'm going to see him on Sunday, debuting uh, the, uh, the press. 
So that'll be good. But anyway, we'll see you shortly when we get to the dungeons. Bye bye. Right, so we're just at the dungeons waiting for our half one show. We came here around one, so it's only a half an hour wait. Hopefully the actors are on it and the boat's running because last time it was a walkthrough. Uh, the boat's a great ride. And last time I was eager to get on the boat ride because it's just, it makes about what it is. But instead, last time it was a walkthrough, now it's a boat ride, hello. <laughs> Monkeying around. <laughs> we'll see you when we get after the ride because unfortunately we can't get footage on the inside like most rides because copyright notices. So I'll give you my review after the ride. Well, we just got off the dungeon and all the scares were Very amazing. Good. It was. The boat ride's working again as well, that's something. So, the Alton Towers dungeon is at its prime, but not many people want to pay for it anymore. Yeah. Even with it being £5 on discount. So, you know, got to give them what they get. Got to give them what they get. They need all the credit worth. And now we're heading to our next ride on the spinner wheel, which we don't know what it's going to be until that happens. So our next ride has been revealed, it's a classic funfair ride, it's Fabio's, which is also known in funfairs as the Sizzler. So let's get that ride on, shall we? So here we are at Fabio's, which obviously, like I said, is a classic funfair ride known as the Sizzler. At all the towers it's been with the David Volumes rides, Fabio's Fandango, and we're about to get on. Don't drop it. Right, no, we had an amazing ride on Fabio's. I kept on bouncing around on the carts because that's what the Sizzler does. And we just got the spinner wheel and it is Ben's choice. And it is Nemesis reborn, so how can I disagree with that? <laughs> Let's go to the Pumpkin Valley to get our second ride of Nemesis and do the welcome to the restaurant. Bye. Nice little walk through the gardens on the way to the Pumpkin Valley. Something a bit different. And the Bragona Fountain's turned on, looking beautiful. And now we've got to do several hundred steps to get back up to where the Fubbin Valley is because the garden goes really far down into Alton Towers. Right, here we are. Spin the wheel has led us back to where we started. And I like it. We're back on Nemesis. Let's see what the queue time is, shall we? Hopefully not too long. I'd say 45. 45 minute wait. That's my guess. Let's have a look. Let's see what we got. It is... 45! That's, that's just my perfect mind kicking in. I just, I read what it is without seeing it. 45 minutes, let's go. This is awesome. We've got new theming on the cannon. There's actually uh, some weathering on the front to show that it's actually been firing. We've got some wiring and LEDs on there. Looking nice. And here we go, Nemesis is going up the climb. Right, so our second ride on Nemi. Got second row this time. I think it was third row on the first ride, second on the next ride. We did get front row on a few other rides, so it's fine. Front row isn't always the way you get it. It's uh, it's like bingo. You can only get the right number. But anyway, we're going to the Volcus restaurant now. It's like 4 p.m. We've really timed this late, but I'm hungry, so we're gonna go to the Volcus restaurant, get some food, I'm gonna have a nice cocktail. I don't endorse alcohol on this vlog, so don't, don't get any ideas. But anyway, <laughs> we'll see you in a bit. 
Right, so it turns out the Rollercoaster restaurant shut for reservations only, so we're now going towards Rita, and I've had a quick ice cream. Probably the, the next plan is after I've been to the theme park, get a KFC or something before going to the cinema. So, you know, I planned it too late to get food, but I'm not really that hungry. I can last. So we're going to go towards Rita to get some shots and have an amazing launch on hopefully row two, because it's a separate queue for the front row. So I'm tempted. I might go for the front row. I usually do. Front row. Yeah. Yes. Right, so a typical me thing that I usually do, but I've kind of got out of the habit, is I forget to do an outro to my vlog. So here we are, forgetting. We're at the train station, ready to go home. But we got off Rita, it was a brilliant ride, front row, and it wasn't as whippy as I thought it would be, but it was actually a lot faster. So it's been a great day at Alton Towers, doing random rides on a spinner wheel. It really changes the day if you don't know what you're gonna do. So if you ever go to Alton Towers and you don't know what to do, do a spinner wheel, it's fun. It makes the day much better. And uh, I hope to see you in the next vlog because it's an interesting one. It is the first ever travel vlog on a travel and theme park up, so it makes sense. We need to do the travel stuff, which will be Luxembourg on a uh, four business class flights. We'll be doing aviation, photography, and videography, so obviously I'll add loads of clips of planes into that. And uh, I'll do some like funny skits in the airports and that, just make it absolutely entertaining for you all. So uh, hope to see you on the next video. Thank you for tuning in on this one, and goodbye. <laughs>